So hello and welcome everyone once again. Round robin situation in algorithm and the previous uh, gate question. In this video, I'm going to solve the 2014 from the set two question. Let me just read out the question for you. It's quite a lengthy question. Although the solution is very simple and easy, but yeah, they make the question unnecessarily complicated like this to make you feel that yes, it's going to be a little difficult. So I attempted at the end and you're left with no time. So you just simply lose the marks. So here the question is, Three processes A, B and C each execute a loop of 100 iterations. So we have three processes A, B, C. They all execute a loop of 100 iterations. In each iteration of the loop, a process performs a single computation that requires TC CPU milliseconds. So TC, so here this is the CPU computation. This is the input output computation. So each process is performing this, right? And after performing TC, it initiates a single input output operation that lasts for t i o milliseconds. All right. It is assumed that the computer where the processes execute has sufficient number of I/O devices, and the OS of the computer assigns different I/O device to each process every time. Okay. All right. So there is no clash of resources. We have sufficient input output devices. So that means. All the three processes A, B, C can perform their I/O operations simultaneously. Also, the scheduling overhead of the OS is negligible, so you don't have to consider any context switching. The processes have the following characteristics. So the characteristic is right here. We have three processes: their TC and their TIO requirement in the milliseconds. Okay. The processes A, B, and C are started at time zero, five and 10 milliseconds which I have considered as the arrival time. In a pure time shading system, that means the round robin scheduling algorithm that uses a time slice of 50 milliseconds. So round robin with time quantum of 50 quantum 50 milliseconds. The question is asking one simple thing, time in which process C will finish its first input output operation is and it's a numeric based question. There is no options given. All right. So yes, they have given that it has 100 iterations, but we don't have to execute all the 100 iterations in the loop. The question is asking the very first I.O. So when you schedule it for the first time in the first iteration, what is when, what is the time when the input output operation of the CO will be finished? It's nothing but a very simple round robin CPU scheduling where you have to schedule on the CPU. All right. And you, have, you might also check here on the input output that which process is coming where. So I don't think we really need to make a chart for it by because we, we have separate IO devices available for each process. Right? So let's start doing that. At very first time zero, I have process A. So process A is scheduled. And of course, first of all, it is going to perform its TC completely. Then only it will go for its TIO. So that is important, right? So because the quantum is 50, so it becomes 50, correct? Next is B 100 and it becomes 300. Next C 150, 150, all right? Next once again A, it needs 50 more, so then up to 200. So now you see here what I mean to say. I mean to say is until A finishes its complete TC, it will not go for the TIO. So now here I say at this point A gone for TIO. Okay, it is allowed to go for the TIO, not before that because it has finished its TC, so now it can go. But we are to find out for process C. So let's continue. Again, process B comes in the queue. So B needs more and more. It becomes 250, right? Now comes C. It becomes 300, okay? So this goes down, this goes down, this becomes 100, this becomes 250, all right? Once again, B needs more. It becomes 350. Once again comes C. Right guys, I hope you are following. 
Don't think that why A is not coming again. Because A is performing its input output operation for the 500 milliseconds. So it is going on in the IO. Here, if your A, it started it at 200, so from 200 to up to 700, it will be performing its I operation. That's why it's not coming up on your CPU chart. Right? Now, C, again 400, right? We need four quantum of C each time 50-50 to finish its 200. By the time, let's put the B also. Now it needs 450, it becomes 450 and the next one is C and that is 500. If you are anyway confused, just check it out. B needs a lot much. So B is still continuing and C will need how many quantums? It will need 4 quantums. We have finished 4 quantums. 1, 2, 3 and 4. By this time, it has become 0. Okay. I am not writing the value again and again Why? because space is less and it's a big value. So it is going to consume everything. But you can understand, right? So now at this point of time, you see, at this point of time, when it is time at 500, C has finished its first TC, first computation. Now C is also allowed to go for its IO. So now here on the IO, C is going at time 500, right? And each TIO needs how much? 500. So it goes at this and it finishes by 1000 because 500 plus 500. It starts its input output operation at 500. It needs 500 millisecond to consume. So at what time it finishes? It finishes at 1000. By this time, don't get confused. By this time, B will be still continuing, right? B will be continuing, okay? Whatever slices it needs, it will consume and it, then it will also go for TIO. And once A finishes its TIO, it will come back and perform the next iteration of the loop. Although we are not bothered about them, right? Because we just have to find out the first, first TIO time for the process C and that we have already found out. That is 1000. So the answer, the time in milliseconds in which process C will finish its first TIO is nothing but then 1000 millisecond. That's what the answer is. I mean, yes, it looks a little complicated. Why? Because of it has put so many iterations, the values are big, but it is as simple as doing any round robin should see if you should do algorithm. Right? This is where the question ends. Once again, I'm going to come up with the next question in the next video. Till then, you bye-bye and take care.